Morgan wakes up on a stone floor. Morgan and her surroundings are animated. She sees her reflection in a puddle. Morgan props herself up. She scans her surroundings and looks at her hands. She gets up in her shredded lavender dress. What the heck am I wearing? Morgan stands within the walls of the castle. Is this Annalisha? Wow, this is not what I pictured at all. Morgan? Nancy? What are you doing here? I'm not sure. Something weird happened. Did it by any chance include a giant hole in your sky? What? What the heck is that? Last night, that mysterious hole appeared in the sky and started pulling all of our magic into some other place. Yeah. Okay, Morgan, tell us what happened. Well, Giselle and I had a pretty bad fight. And then, uh, then what? I'm not sure exactly. But the last thing I remember is Giselle acting really, really cruel. And then she said something about making a wish and that I had to fix it. Oh, Edward, the wishing wand. She must have used it. But what could she have possibly wished for that would have done all this? Well, whatever it was, it turned our whole town into some kind of fairy tale place. Just like Andalusia. Morgan, a wish so big that it changes a world wouldn't need a little of our magic. It would, it would need all of it. Every last bit. Wait, but everything here is made of magic. If it's all gone, then... Animals hug each other. It happens to Andalasia. If we can't reverse this, everything Andalasia will be gone. Forever. I don't want Andalasia to disappear forever. No, there must be something we can do. Giselle just needs to remember who she is, and then she can fix all of this. I know she can't remember. Edward! Of course. The magic of memories. memories. What, you mean Giselle's memory tree? It's real? It is. And it's the strongest magic there is. A full moon hangs 